Talking about churn, you're talking about you know how do when do you lose uh, right. subscribers basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that happens to every brand that has a subscription box, and the goal is to just minimize the amount of churn. Um, as long as you get more coming in as you do going out, then you're doing well as a company. Now I want to give you credit though for being honest about why companies launch a subscription services, which is that it is mindless. It's like the rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You set it, you forget <laughs> it, right, and it keeps and it keeps coming to you. Um, what? I said yeah, it. yeah, and so so uh, thank you for for being um, really honest about that. Uh, but you know these are delicious, and you have to come up with you know new products. I would imagine to get people continuing to subscribe right over time. What are the main factors that you've found to reduce that churn rate? Mm, I'd say I mean you have to have the great product. We spend so much time focusing on making the product really good, and people won't rebuy it if the product doesn't perform, right? And so we really try to make every one of our products taste dang good, but also deliver on some sort of nutritional benefit. So high fat, low carbs, no sugar added, um, and then available in flavors that you, know, you won't get bored from.